All right, welcome to the vlog. Can you mow a lawn with simply a line trimmer? What a stupid question. Yes, of course you can. Should you? Probably not, especially when it's been raining and everything's wet, but hey, we're gonna do it anyway. This is some buffalo grass here. Very lush, grows quite well. A little bit of moisture in it. We have had some rain. Left these here. Uh, yeah, so I'm not sure why I thought this was a good idea. It's probably going to rain on me and make it even worse. But uh, this is the Ego STX 4500. It's their commercial line trimmer. I've been using it in a few of the videos. I do overall like it. It's pretty comfy for me. Nice flat bottom head, um, it just works. It's got plenty enough power for all this sort of stuff. Carbon fiber shaft, the trigger response is pretty good. Very light action on the trigger too, so it's not fatiguing. Looking a little wavy. Didn't catch that. It's starting to rain. Always keep in mind, I'm very close to this car here. Um, I know that my debris is going to be thrown that way though, so just keep that in mind. And that, my friends, is how you mow a lawn with a line trimmer for no reason at all. This lawn will suffer from that in the coming days. And when I say suffer, it's not the end of the world. It's just gonna, the tips of it will have a really sort of white appearance because the line trimmer slashes the blade 
like that. So you get that sort of whited off look the next day or two as it comes back. The mower blade is a bit of a cleaner slash. It's still a slash really. You can call it a cut, but it's still a slash. The cylinder mower, which is what I mow my lawn with, that's how you get a nice fine cut. Obviously this is a nice fine leaf grass, but uh, yeah, not a great result. Now for this side of the nature strip, we'll do something a little bit different. A lot of people get their noses out of joint if they don't see you doing the edges first, blowing the residue back onto the lawn, then mowing it and vacuuming up all that um, debris. I think that's a great way to do it when it's at a, a maintained height. On a day like today where it's a little bit wet and the grass is gonna stick to any surface, sometimes I like to go over it first with the mower, which collects a lot of the edge anyway. So then you're trimming less edge and um, you know, throwing a lot less edge out everywhere else onto surfaces to stick on. I'll then trim it, blow, mow again, blow again. It's very, uh, it's a bit of an anal way to do it, but uh, hey, that's me. Here's another situation where you can make a real mess when it's wet. Spraying the grass all over a um, rendered wall. Do a vertical first, then you don't really even have to touch it. So yeah, as you can see, no mess at all. The grass is wet, but it didn't stick at all. No chip to render, that's how I do it. touching the wall with the line, you're doing it wrong. That all looks sensational till I forgot I had it on the bottom setting. Uh, it's all right, it's grass, it'll grow back. And of course I had to vacuum this up. I couldn't leave it like that. So that is how I like to mow a lawn when it's got a little bit more length on it. How are you, mate? I am. Yeah, nice to meet you. I'm here, you're a star. Oh, <laughs> no, I don't know about that. Nicole mentioned you're a star. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think she's stretching it a bit. <laughs> yeah, no, I just make some videos about grass. One, yeah. one day we should learn from you. Yeah, no worries. Anytime you need anything, just let me know. If you, yeah, if you, you so need any tips or anything or equipment, we're uh, certainly not short of that. All right, no worries. Thank nice to meet you. So hopefully that helped you out if you had no idea. Uh, that's how I mow it when it's a little bit longer. I just think it makes a little bit less mess. It's easier to clean up. But the beauty of mowing lawns is there's not one way to do it. Whatever you want to do, as long as you do it, that's the main thing. Uh-huh, uh-huh, mm-mm, mm-mm, uh-huh, uh-huh. Mmm, mmm, uh-huh, uh-huh, mmm, mmm, uh-huh, uh-huh, mmm.